Hi there, my name is Lisa Kaus and welcome to my garden. I decided to come out here because it is such a beautiful day and I get so much creativity from all that is around in nature. And I'm so inspired by the textures and colors. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than the usual, all about me. We're going to talk about how to make a wonderful candy cone using one of my calendars that I uh, work in coordination with Lang. Uh, over here you can see all the fun different little adapta adaptations to it and I'm going to give you a quick little run how and how to put these together. And now I'm going to show you all the components that it's going to take to create one of these super cute candy cones. First you'll need a calendar, uh, an older one, or you can always get a new one to cut up, but it's more fun to use a, an older one. But all kinds of great imagery in here. And then uh, your template, scotch tape, your scissors, and decorative scissors, they're optional. And then some components that go onto the cone, and then pencil. So first step is find a calendar page that you like. And I picked out this one, and I'm going to take my template and lay it down in a pleasing manner and go ahead and trace right on top the image. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to take your scissors and I like to cut my half circle out first and then use my decorative edge scissors. For some reason for me it's just a little more accurate so that I don't up my edges that I put together. Okay, and we're done with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the decorative edge scissors and go on the back side here. Whoops, no, wrong way. Got to get these things right. Yeah, just kind of follow the line and create a really, really cute edge. Craft scissors you can get in any supply store that carries scrapbooking supplies. Go ahead and keep cutting. Whoopsie. Then we get to the edge. Set those aside. Then with the scotch tape, go ahead and secure your. I know this is the tricky part, getting it to roll in there. Go ahead and secure that. Here I brought in some vintage buttons. That's one thing I love to use in my art. And then all these other little wonderful components that I cut out of the calendar to uh, adhere to this. So we'll take the craft glue. And kind of find what we want here. Take a look at each one. That's really pretty. So we'll think about maybe we'll put that right here. And we'll secure a piece of dab of glue on that. And then what I've been doing is I've been taking these and kind of bending them so it gives them a little bit of a three-dimensional quality to them. And then I've got these really cute little daisies as well. I'm going to put those on too. And I was able to do in an hour, uh, not including adding the candy. Uh, all of the ones that you see here. So this is just a little something that you can do for parties. A uh, holiday would be really fun if you found a holiday themed calendar. Uh, it's just, you know, it's so much a part of my work. And uh, I love color and being out in the garden adds just that uh, creative element that I really love. Thanks so much for stopping by.